Oh my god, Persona so realistic. It's raining every day of summer, just like real life. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey guys, welcome back to more Persona 5 Royal. And in this episode, Frig, I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Why do I always gotta be the one to do the walkthrough? God, but no, on a more serious note, we'll have some activities we're going to be doing outside. But first, <laughs> you already know what we have to do first. Need I say more? Yeah, seasonal skybound event. I think that's fireworks. This outdoor spectacle's been popular for centuries. Vessels are filled with various chemical compounds to generate color, smoke, and sound upon detonation. Did you know? <laughs> that fireworks don't naturally whistle. That's a result of a special part being built into the rocket, designed for a noisy accent. All right. Nice. Couldn't help but chuckle. For yeah. years and years, I've practiced my audition to Did You Know Gaming and emailed them 14,000 times to let me do the SMT video. I don't think they're going to reply. <laughs> That's just... Wait, what the crud? Did I not call her yet? That's weird. I could have sworn I did. Do I not? Uh, yeah, I guess we... For, oh, no. I'm thinking of the last time. Dump. We need to call Kawakami again because we got stuff to do outside. What? Yeah. Get over here, girl. You're requesting me? Fine. I have you know I've trained a while working with Veronica. My skills are amazing. Okay, just get over here. I just want to do my <laughs> bullcrap outside. Oh, gosh. You're so stiff. Like right here. And here. Your spine. You need to watch your posture so you don't end up hunchbacked, okay? That that isn't how that works. You should know that you're a teacher. Master. That should do it. Thanks. Oh. But seriously, you don't gotta you don't gotta do the master hey, thing. Later. Okay, get the freak out of here for Sojuro sees Jesus Christ. I mean, even if he did see. Wait, isn't he downstairs? I don't know, whatever. It doesn't matter. Today, guys, we're going to do the star confidant in the church. Hi, Jesus! Uh, hello there. My name's actually- Yeah, who gives a crap? Anyway, so, to do Miss Hifumi's confidant. Make a star persona. It can be any persona. It doesn't really matter. If you got Neko Shogun, you have other options. But I got Neko Shogun. So we're good in that regard. But, uh, are you sleeping in church? How dare you? No one would ever do that. Downpour. <laughs> Although my thinking gets sharper on rainy days. It's raining too hard today. The noise it makes is hard to focus. Do you remember our promise? You become my playing partner so I can research new moves. In order to do so, I would like you to start off by learning the basics. Would you like to play? Yeah. Why not? I got time. and It's not like we can do anything outside, right? Forward to it. Well then, I'll be heading out. <laughs> Are you sure? It's kind of wet out there, bro. I'll start. Vanguard of my Togo Kingdom. Go forth to the front lines. Trample upon them all. Uh, you're doing this again. You think to protect yourself that paltry defense. <laughs> Useless. Awaken dragon. Let your shadowy hellfire consume them all. Dark inferno rook. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put this here. Can you hear them? The wailing of dead soldiers. Echoing throughout the battlefield. With an incompetent king, a soldier cannot show his true bravery. Time for you to suffer. Uh, okay, sorry. Well, I tried. At last, everything is in place. My right hand trembles as I release my true full power, EX. I summon forth the forbidden move that shall bring you to your end. Ultimate Excalibur. Check. Well, that was fun for one of us. I did it again. It's an embarrassing habit I have. During a match, I um, tend to get very aggressive. It's as if I assume the role of queen of a kingdom. Uh, well, at least it's an endearing character trait. <laughs> it is? <laughs> I think so. You're a strange one indeed. My father had me do image training exercises when I was younger to help me learn the rules. I gradually began to view the shogi board as if it were my own kingdom. If I had fun coming up with stories and strategies for 
my, um, subjects. However, I've heard that people make fun of me on the internet. Dang, girl, you too? Frig. <laughs> people think I'm weird. Or that I'm an otaku. Or that I'm crazy. Dang, I'm... Yeah, I know what you're going through. I mean, I can't blame them. Certainly, I think I'm weird, too. I mean, come on. As long as you're having fun, don't worry about them. Yes. Just do your own thing. Your positivity is a welcome relief. I may be able to learn more from our matches than I thought. Nah, I saw it, girl. You, you, you seriously destroyed me. I don't know if there's like a, a point system of Shogi, but like, bruh, I didn't even capture one of the flags. And get my life points, we ain't gonna talk- we ain't, we ain't gonna talk about the life points. <laughs> I don't know how to play this game. That will do for today. Okay, I'm gonna head out. Oh. There's something I wanted to mention. Uh, never mind. Do you read weekly magazines? <laughs> no. Well, I'm doing a photo shoot for one. Oh. Uh. You don't sound too thrilled, I guess? Eh? You're quite perceptive. Nah, I just counted the dots in your sin. I thought you'd be surprised if you saw me on a newsstand, so I wanted to let you know beforehand. In all honesty, I'm very reluctant to do it. But... If I can draw more attention to Shogi, maybe the sport will become more popular. At least that's how I'm justifying it to myself. Well, you know, whatever it takes. I have an interview for tonight as well. Let's end here for today. Okay. And we get points for playing with... the game with Fumi who... Seriously, she just destroyed us. We hardly learned anything. Until next time. It happened so fast, I couldn't even, <laughs> even see if the, her moves were legal or not. Nah, of course a Fumi plays with the rules. That would be an interesting arc, though, if she didn't, but... Most of the time, the whole point of the game is... And I know certain characters in the future may counter this approach, but, uh... They're outcasts. But at their core, they're very good people. Except for probably Kawakami. I don't... Mm, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just poking fun, but... Oh. Snap, Kasumi wants to hang out. Senpai, do you want to do some training today? The truth is I want to try something a little different. I was hoping maybe you could join me? As badly as I want to. Yo. We got other plans. Sorry to bother you while you're enjoying your after meal coffee. But I'm going to open up the shop soon. Either you need to go upstairs or get out of here. Okay, I, I gotcha. Hey. I can just blend in, you know, pretend to be a custom. No, we can't do that. All right. Lisa's not mean anymore. Sotro's kind of warmed up to us. But before we do any confidant stuff, we actually need to re-summon some of our personas because, dude, we got, like, none. We seriously burned through all of them making Pale Rider, which, yeah, he's pretty cool. A little overpowered, some people would say. To you, I say, yes, we did way too much damage in that last fight, but whatever. Today, we're going to need the Emperor matching persona, the Angel, or I guess I should say Justice. I say that every time. And last but not least, Devil, just to be on the safe side. I mean, you got the cash, right? So we got Regent, where the crud is Angel. It's the only, oh, there it is. We also need the Devil, which is an Arcana I haven't really been focusing on. There's a lot of, like, different combinations. If you don't have it yet, just, I don't know, look up a fusion calculator. Back in my day, we didn't have those. It's not entirely true. They were only for SMT games because Persona wasn't that popular yet. But anyways, now that we got that taken care of, it's time to start. I wonder if he texted us. Hmm, that is more content to show off. Well, I better check my phone. But yep, next, we're doing the Emperor Arcana, who we've kind of been ignoring. My bad, Yusuke, you're... Too busy being freaking the best artist ever. Well, not really, but that occurrence at that public exhibition was quite frustrating. Mm, it seems I've yet to grasp what the heart is truly about. However, I've given it a great deal of thought since then. Mm hmm. I've just something I'd like to draw. Do you think you would assist me? Yeah, bro, we can do that, bullcrap. What do you got in mind? Let's do it. Now that we got the matching persona. I owe you. After all, 
This would be quite difficult to do alone. What? Well then, come to Inakashiro Park. I wait you there. All right, sounds fun. Are we gonna draw all the garbage we cleaned up? No, guess Thank not, you. we're on a boat. Thank you for assisting today. After all, it'd be possible to sketch while rowing. Not entirely true, but uh, we probably, <laughs> this is nothing you do with dudes, just saying, Yusuke. Girl? Does that mean you have a girlfriend? You should have mentioned sooner. Uh, I don't have a girlfriend yet. I've missed the opportunity for a truly wonderful subject. That aside, I must thank you for your help today. This is the ideal location for my next motif. Are we gonna draw ducks? Uh, Look at all the ducks. They're so cute. <laughs> Don't get so excited. You'll fall off, you know. Uh, hmm. Perfect. This is it. Yeah, the ducks. My previous painting captured only one aspect of the heart. Desire. As such, I was unable to arrive at a truly authentic representation. I'm with you so far. That is why we've come today. I shall paint a second aspect. The burning passion between man and woman. <laughs> Fittingly, our theme today will be the wonders of love. Uh, okay. You too will have an important role here. With I draw, ensure the boat remains as steady as possible amid these devilish ripples. Uh, aye aye, Captain. Uh, <laughs> this angle, <laughs> incredible! Yo, keep it down, they're gonna see us! What? That bashful side profile, those moist eyes, their overflowing passion is wholly evident. If you say so, they are akin to Adam and Eve. Yet in time, all lovers must come to know the pain of separation. Yes, separation is the natural end to any such relationship. But even beyond that, love endures. Precisely, this is the truth of the human heart. <laughs> it will make the most wonderful painting. Yeah, man, totally. It shall be adored by all who gaze upon it. It may even give him top prize in the next exhib... Uh, wait. Now is not the time to be thinking of such trivial matters. <laughs> hey. uh, can you please remain still? Whoa. What? Uh, what? You return to your prior angle. I must capture your profile. Bro, bro you can't do that. What, what, what the heck are you doing? Rejoice, for I shall preserve your beautiful love so that all coming generations may bask in its glory. Once I've completed this painting, you will become new legends in the art world. A modern Adam and Eve. You haven't even started yet. Legends? Art? This dude's off his rocker. Come on, let's report him. Whoa, 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 you're using us as models? Yes. A man and a woman, intimately swaying in the dinghy of dreams. The blush on their cheeks, the bashful looks. <laughs> yes, this is the love I was so emphatically searching for. Uh, love? I guess you could call it that. It's kind of weird. It's familial love. This is my sister. Oh, God. Oh, I told you I didn't want to come here with you. Why don't you do this crap for stupid couples? I've always dreamed of coming to Tokyo and riding a boat. <laughs> no, it was supposed to be with my boyfriend. Not my brother. How uh, could this be? Uh, familial? Yusuke, don't freak out, please. So that overflowing passion was just a figment of my imagination? Seems my bias has caused me to overlook the truth of the matter. Uh, love comes in all forms, but that could be taken out of context. Uh. Love is a broad, multifaceted beast. This only serves to prove how narrow my perspective can be. Hmm. Romantic love and familial love. The two may be nigh indiscernible, depending on one's point of view. Uh, I beg to differ. Hmm. Perhaps 
the truth of the heart lies in the eye of the beholder. Yes. I feel as though I've learned something today. Good! Can we please leave? This is getting awkward. <laughs> so, in this confidant episode, if you even want to call them that, I guess rank's more fitting, we learn that Yusuke, yeah. All right. He struggles understanding some of the, I guess, context and fine details of certain things, despite his keen eye for art. Wait, so only couples write these things, right? That means those two... Ah, <laughs> uh, Shh. There are people from all walks of life here in the city. Ooh, tell me more. <laughs> I'm being objectified. What are you talking about? Let us return home. Well, well. Come. It is about time we return home. Please row us back to shore. Aye, aye, Captain. But, y you know, you're not drawing anymore. You can also... R okay. You know, I wrote us here. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's a fun scene, but, uh... Yeah, it's important to understand the differences, <laughs> Yusuke. Thank you for all your help today. I've certainly come to realize my lack of experience. It's alright, man. It would seem as I understand nothing of love at all. Uh, not necessarily. My progress by one step. There's no doubt I'll face many difficulties moving forward. When will I fully understand the heart? Even if I do understand it, will I truly be able to draw it? I mean, yeah, today kind of sucked, but... You can't climb Everest in a day. You'll get out of this slump. Never mind. I have no intention whatsoever of giving up. I will do everything in my power to get past this. <laughs> Anyhow, today was a significant use of time. Impressive oarsmanship from you as well. <laughs> Thanks, I'm new to it. Hope I can count on your help next time as well. For now, farewell. <laughs> I imagine he just like, I don't know. Yusuke's outfit doesn't have a cape, but I feel like he deserves one. He's a little dramatic, but I like that about him. Who's gonna call us the- Hey, inmate! Inmate! You haven't forgotten your special assignment, have you? Yes, I have. You better not keep us waiting long. We're waiting in front of our door. Okay. Uh, I don't really give a frig. Just saying- Oh, hey. Is Futaba still asleep? It's been a whole day already, bro. What? You're way too impatient. Calm down. But, I mean, yeah, like, when the crush, you could wake up. Just saying- <laughs> Yes. Let us drink some tea and calm our minds. Yusuke, no. Oh, some rice crackers with the tea. Will be lovely as well. Uh, what? What? I am most certainly in the mood. Anyway, we should wait a little longer for Futaba to wake up. For something salty today. I understand why you guys feel nervous, but we'll just have to wait for now. Ain't Jack crap we can do about it. Why stress about it? That's my motto. Just kidding. I'm a nervous wreck. When videos don't go as planned, whatever. Anywho, today, we're actually gonna hit up our girl, Mifuni. I mean, she's not our girl, because that would mean, you know, me and her. <laughs> Come on. I mean, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, I don't have one. Stop saying that. Let's just maybe try and work on this relationship. You here for a test? Well, I'm closing up shop for today. However, we could discuss another matter. Hmm? Uh, yeah. That's good, I have the matching. Let's talk. Thank you very much. I'm closing up shop, so please hold on. Take your time. Got all night. I mean, not literally, you know, I like to go to bed early. But... Hey, I still believe in the existence of fate. I mean, the fortunes I see have an extremely high accuracy rate. Yeah, yeah, that they do. But I suppose my divine power isn't completely absolute. Hmm. Uh, if you really want, we could do another test. I mean, maybe I'll mess up this time. Well, of course, but I'm sure that would only end in disappointment. Sorry? <laughs> you know. I've wondered in the past whether fate really can be changed. But I always concluded that it was something beyond our control. Almost like the laws of nature. Eternal. Impossible to defy. And yet, 
And there exist people like you who can ignore those laws and impose their own will upon the world. Um, How can I become one of those people? Uh, be the main character? I mean, you know, just don't worry about fate, just do your own thing. Trust in myself instead of my fortune telling? I never thought of that way before. Hmm. Really? Never? This city keeps finding ways to subvert my expectations. There was nothing like you back in my hometown in the country. It was a small, traditional town deep in the mountains, populated almost entirely by older people. Dang. Sounds kind of nice, but why, why are you telling me about your hometown? Is this, uh, during the winter? It's practically inescapable due to all the snow. That alone should tell you volumes. The youth they are forced to be strictly obedient to their elders as well. Not explicitly, of course. <laughs> oh, and there's a small shrine in the center of the village. There, I... Uh, it doesn't matter anymore. I left that place to come to this city. It means nothing to me now. Well, it clearly doesn't if you brought it up. After I arrived in Tokyo, I found comfort in this stone. I came from someone who dared to care about me, even though I'm just a monster with a strange power. What? That's why I sell holy stones. I want to help those who suffer from inescapable fates similar to my own. However... But now I wonder if they really do much of anything. After all, you managed to change the destinies of my clients without one. Yeah, I didn't need any salt. Is it truly possible to alter fate with nothing more than mere words, attitude, and passion? Maybe. Okay, you could've... Don't let him, Mifune. If that's the case, I won't be needing this. I'm going to confront fate head-on with my own strength. Although the chairman would be really mad if he found out. Huh? Chairman? Like, a TV station? The frig? What are we talking about? Oh. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Just forget about it. Unless you want to suffer my curse, that is. Why are you like this? Anyway, if fate can be changed, maybe mine can be corrected, right? It didn't work for me before, but perhaps this time. I mean, a new perspective can sometimes be the only thing you need, Miss Chihaya. Right. <laughs> I look forward to our continued exchange. At least until I can manage to change my fate. What, then you're gonna ditch me? <laughs> no, and I'll be sure to put some extra effort in my fortune tellings for you. Thanks, I'd appreciate that. She doesn't mean it literally, because that means they would get better. Because, frick, we need that. But still a couple ranks away. But, uh, Mifune is right. struggling with something, but she doesn't tell us what that is. A little strange, but, well, we got a long way to go until we finish this one. Thank you for today. I didn't even do anything, but sure, why not? But yeah, she's uh going through some stuff. Hopefully it works out. I'm calling because I want to thank you again for earlier. <laughs> thank you so much for today. To be honest, I'm still feeling a bit lost, but talking to you about everything has helped me feel a little better. Heck yeah, but I... I seriously didn't do anything. I hardly even talked. What is up with Persona? <laughs> oh, nonsense. That couldn't be further from the truth. Talking to you helped me realize what I should really be doing. I can only hope my fortune telling is enough to pay you back somehow. Uh-huh. Okay. I'll be putting in a lot of work from you from now on. So you weren't putting in work before? Even though I can't imagine changing my own fate but I will figure out a way to make it happen. I hope I can count on you to help me through the process. Until next time. Uh, gosh, she's just being so vague about it. Ah! Hope things work out, but God dang it, Mishima! What do you want? This can wait until the morning. Oh, it's a catchy. Apologies for the sudden message. Are you free tomorrow? A uh, work acquaintance gave me some tickets to an aquarium. I'd be a waste to let them go unused, no? Would you like to come along? Ugh, fine. But this could have been sent in the morning. Glad to hear it. Then tomorrow it is. I'll send you the directions to the aquarium. 
So we'll meet there. Okay. Guys, and I doubt of the aquarium, huh? Well, that should be fun. Guess it's not that weird. What? Why'd you have to say that, Morgan? Uh, eh. I'm platonically going with my friend, Akechi, to the Shinagawa Aquarium. It's fun for the whole family. Apparently. <laughs> no. I love aquariums, they're really cool. I saw a penguin one time. It was sick. And then it jumped in the water and I never saw it again. I'm sure he's okay, though. But what if he isn't? Oh, God. Uh, it's been a while since I've come to a place like this. Wow. Uh, sorry for dragging you along. Nah, man. It's, it's cool. But yeah, we could have brought a chick, so we don't, you know. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you like it. <laughs> this suits you, huh? I wasn't sure if you were the type. T huh? t like fish? What? Oh, ooh, yeah, what's up? I thought I recognized those glasses. Look who it is. And we even get the second detective prince here too. For real? Wait, what? Uh, why are you here? Oh yeah, during the day no less, that's kind of sus. Uh, I'm just here for material on a fluff piece. Date spots for kids these days, that kind of thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> but that's not important. Why are you with a catchy coon? I invited him out. We're fairly close, after all. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> and you are... Uh, uh, don't mind me. I'm just a reporter. That's all she is. He helps me with articles sometimes, you know. <laughs> but who would have guessed you were friends with the famous teen detective? <laughs> And unlike you, he's pretty hardline Anthony Phantom Thieves, right? Mind if I ask a couple questions about you two? Uh, hey, come on. Only one. Fine. Oh. You're down? <laughs> I was just kidding. Okay, then. I'm no model journalist, but I'm not dumb enough to pry into a high schooler's private life. Uh, are you sure about that? I thought this report would be boring, but I got a nice surprise out of it. I'm glad you had fun. Well, see you next time I need info. Later. You have some friends in the media, I see. Uh, if you can call her that. If I heard you right, we should have some sort of professional agreement. Uh, hey, look at these fish! <laughs> no, it's, it's nothing like that, you know. Oh, I wasn't worrying about that. Of course, if you have to explicitly deny it then. Hmm, uh, no. Just a joke. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm prying. You truly are interesting. Thank you. Thanks for coming out today. We should head home. Bro, we only saw one tank. What the? <sighs> we gotta be careful around a catchy, bro. He's... He's onto us. There's still no response from the Phantom Thieves to Medjet. What do you make of this? Most likely, the Phantom Thieves simply don't have the means of confronting them. After all, Medjet is quite different from anyone they've gone up against thus far. It seems their best option is to reveal their identities before more people are needlessly harmed. You really hit us where it hurts. We're going to beat them, though. What is wrong with you? It's not like we did the cyber attack! Douche! I mean... Uh, yeah, today, guys, friggin', you can skip this if you want. There's not a lot to do when it's raining out. It's really annoying. So we're going to do the velvet visit thing. Hey, wait, I... You get a cold if you hang out here without an umbrella. God dang. You Gore ain't giving you, you one? All right. Time to name the location, Justine. You do the honors. No. Listen closely. The place you wish to evaluate for your rehabilitation is... Where one hones both the body and spirit. The trainees gather there to test and push their limits using various pieces of equipment. I had not expected a rehabilitation facility on this side. As wardens, we must see such training for ourselves. Does such a location sound familiar? Hmm. Well, if you know where it is, then escort us there immediately. All right. I guess we're going to the gym. So what will it be? You gotta get a membership, but yeah, let's 
go, I guess. Let's go, so, you do have an idea where it is. Then today you're getting a special training regimen. If you don't keep up the pace, you will die. Now take us there at once. Who's gonna kill me? You two? The freak? Okay, we're going. It's four ninety nine for a guest oh pass, my. though. So this is a training area. And this is where you used to train? It's rather different from how I imagined it. It's wrong with my gym. It's nice. Indeed. I imagine the equipment would have more spikes and chains. <laughs> no, just this. Hey, inmate, what, what's that? Uh, it's a bench press for, like, your arms and chest. Okay. That's a bench? Then show us how it works. Uh, all right, so you gotta, you know, pinch your back and... Ah, ha, ha. Yeah, it's pretty cool. By lifting the weight, you strengthen your arm and chest muscles. Yeah, but good form's important or you'll hurt your... But that isn't nearly enough for a real workout. You should increase the weight. No, it's actually totally fine to... We will assist you with that. No, please don't. This is all I can handle. Oh, God. This... <laughs> I've seen so many accidents in weightlifting. Uh. Now you can train your heart's condition. No, please get the frick... To it's too heavy. Don't... No, don't say that. Just don't... Don't play on the equipment, please. We'll break it. We're deadly serious right now. I mean, so should you think otherwise. <laughs> okay. Well, it appears we found the limit for your pathetic arms. They're not that wimpy. Now, what's that over there? Another body training device? I don't know. Probably it is a gym. <laughs> Demonstrate its use for us. Uh, all right. I'll try my best. Oh, I see. You run on it to improve your stamina and strengthen your legs. Hmm. Marvelous. What a fascinating contraption. Perhaps we should bring one to our room? Uh, will it fit? We could force the imprisoned personas to run on it. <laughs> Not a bad idea. That's really cruel. By the way, what does this button do? Oh, God. This is actually just... <laughs> That is like evil! Why would you do that? Out of breath already. You still have quite a ways to go. That's like max speed! What is- Okay. All right, on to the next one. Y'all, y'all evil. What is this bizarre object? You know, I don't even know either. Uh, is that yet another tool? Hey, you're interested in the wooden dummy? Wait, who are these kids? Uh, normally I'd say it's just for beginners, but I just saw you really sweating it out. So, here, I'll show you how to use it. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll show you. Huh, one of these. Your footwork's sloppy, inmate. Inmate. Focus more clearly. Concentrate the power in your strikes. Uh, I'm trying? Uh. Yeah, that looks hard. I don't know. <laughs> Was that really all? You couldn't even defeat a stationary wooden post. I'm sorry. Were we to try, it will be obliterated almost immediately. That's not... If you break the equipment, the gym staff's gonna kick you out. Don't do that, please. So you're holding back so as not to destroy it? I see. If the purpose is to simply polish your technique, then there's no reason to destroy it. Then again... <gasps> no. <laughs> well, chill. As far as physical training goes... This place leaves much to be desired. Now, it's a nice gym, actually. But it is admittedly sufficient for your rehabilitation. Here is your reward. Oh boy, I can't wait to get a couple skill cards I'll never use. Ah, pupil's not bad, but pff, I don't care. It's been said that a sound mind requires a healthy body. This has been yet another step towards a rehabilitation. Keep training yourself just as diligently, inmate. I'll try, but... You know, I got other crap to do, like school and work. I got like three jobs I don't go to. You think I got time for them? Frig no. <sighs> oh my god, who is it today? <laughs> oh, it's Makoto. I have a favor to ask. The student council's been getting complaints regarding a suspicious character in Ikebukuru. That's technically not the school's jurisdiction, but a lot of students do go there, so... I'm in thinking of investigating. Could I ask you to join me? Makoto, we learned from your story arc. This is not your fight, girl. It's not. Let's... Not today. Maybe in the future. 
but uh, seriously, Makoto, do not regress your carry, sorry. It was actually improved in this game, Jesus, but that's gonna just about do it today, guys, for this episode of Persona 5 Royals. Finally, stop freaking raining! Ugh! And in the next part, we try to blast out some more confidants as we wait patiently for the cleanse to be over. Yes, that's that's what we gotta do. I'm sorry. We can't just like go slap my friggin' futon and be like, yo! Friggin' here's some monster, go get him tacking. Like it's not gonna work that way. Actually it might. Hmm. Anyways. <laughs> Enough of my outros. Hope y'all have a great day. And see you next time. Bye.